by the way. They make me want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care. All right, Ruben, thanks so much. What a beautiful shop they have. Thank you. All right, it is, of course, wedding week here on San Diego Living. If you have not found your night yet, ladies, don't worry. He is coming. He may just be stuck in traffic. We were talking to Lindsley this morning. Good she is morning. the author. Good morning to you. Good morning. You are the author of this amazing book. I'm going to tell you the title. My knight in shining armor is coming. He's just stuck in traffic. Exactly. For many women, he is still stuck in traffic. I love that, which means <laughs> that he is coming, ladies. And the main point behind your book, I just love the concept, don't settle. Yes, don't settle. And it's so hard because my friends and family were telling me to settle. They were like, oh, how about your ex-boyfriend? I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> hey, well, I wasn't in love with him. I'm not going to marry him. So it's very hard. But, you know, the book is to tell women that they're not alone. There are so many women out there going through this, struggling through this. It's a battlefield out there. And I wanted them to know that, you know, there are days that I felt like I just couldn't believe I was never going to be able to find a decent guy out there. So you're not alone. You're I want to talk alone. about this stigma with single women once they do yeah. reach a certain age. It's like yeah. that 35 uh, mark where you're yeah. like, what's wrong? Why yeah. aren't I married yet? And there's all these things that go through women's heads. And yeah. there, I mean, there are millions of women that feel this way. So millions. obviously you're not alone. People no, alone and that's the comforting well. part, I think, is that, you know, in my book, I talk about not being alone because it's, it's embarrassing to say that you're still single after 35. It was, at least it was for me. I felt bad. I said, there must be something seriously wrong with me if I can't find a man. There's something wrong with me. And of course, I was looking for the right man, not just a man. Sure. I wanted the right, you know, toes curling kind of love man. Okay. But it's hard. It's hard to find out there. The point is, and the point that we really want to get across today is that absolutely don't settle. It's better to be alone and wait because he eventually does come. We're going to talk about your success story in a moment. Um, than be in an unhappy marriage yes. and be in it just because you feel pressured to get married. Yes, I think that women who have been through it know that it's much more stressful to be in a bad relationship or with the wrong person than to be alone. Mm -hmm. and when you're alone, at least you can rely on yourself. You know who you are. You right. trust yourself. It's actually the best relationship you have is with yourself. So ladies out there, whatever you don't like about yourself, your neck, your thighs, just get over it because this is who you are and you're going to have to accept who you are and you love yourself and then someone else can love you and you can love someone else too. So, you know, it's important for them to know that and when, set, when you want to settle, it's bad. You're going to end up divorced. You're going to end up unhappy. It's just not a good way to go. You want to wait for true love. Well, no one really wants to settle. I think that a lot of times um, women just see it as the next thing on their checklist. You know, we're very goal oriented, and, you know, we, yeah. once you reach a certain age, marry with kids. Now it's time to do the next step. And I think yeah. that women convince themselves that, oh, he's not so bad. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> Believe me, I convinced myself a million times in my days. So I'm like, he's not so bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. But no, you, you want to wait for that feeling where you really deeply, deeply love the person. Exactly. And it's chemistry. And believe me, if it was easy, we'd all be in a relationship and I'll be happy and it would be easy. But it's not. You have to wait for that person. And people, a lot of women, I think, don't know that feeling. Right. So they, they marry someone or they get with someone and they don't understand that, oh, it's, it's supposed to be more. You know, I'm supposed to feel more. And um, hopefully women will find that because everyone deserves it. Exactly. You know, waiting can be difficult, but it is worth the wait because when you do feel it, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. I'm so happy for you. You just Thank got you. married. I did. Congratulations. I did. To my knight in shining armor. I met him on Match.com. It was my final frontier. I was on and offline dating for five years. And I found him, and uh, we're really happy. He's a wonderful guy. Here's a beautiful picture of your wedding. Let's talk about oh, Match.com. It's such a great avenue and a great resource for so many people. Um, online dating is a necessary evil. Mm -hmm. And this is why I say necessary evil, because in this day and age, you're not going to go to bars. Everyone, no. People are busy. You're not going to, you know, go and find them at your, with your friends necessarily. I tried those resources. I found some great people through my friends. At work, you might not be able to find somebody, so where are you going to go? Mm -hmm. Online dating is a great way to go, but it's a needle in a haystack quest. It right. really is. You're going to have to go to, through some freaks and geeks, <laughs> some frogs, some crazy people, and I'm not kidding. This book, this is my binder. Oh this my is gosh. all bad emails Ugh. from online dating. So you have to go through a lot. But it ends up happy because you found your prince, your knight in shining armor, and you're so happy. But you put in the work. And the most important thing, she did not settle. So I'm don't so settle. happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Men don't settle either. This goes for, for everyone. All Thank right. You. For more information, head to our website. Up next today, how about sharing a bottle of wine with your sweetheart? We are getting 
Secrets from a Sonoma Valley winemaker. Find out what goes into pouring a world-class wine. Stay tuned.